a triple baldy threat. Don't muck around, because fighting hurts. It's day four and our fighters arrive early at the Semtex gym in Kent and they haven't got a clue what's in store for them. Welcome to another day of training here on Fighting Hurts. We're all about stand-up again today and it's all about Thai boxing. And today, you're going to be trained by someone very special. They are the current European and British kickboxing champion, also the current European and British boxing champion, and that's professional boxing, as well as being ranked number three in the world. So, let's meet the person who's going to be grilling you today. Hi guys, I've got a British European title in boxing, professional boxing, got ranked number three in the world. Previously before that I was kickboxing for seven years, got a British European title kickboxing. I think when I first walked out the door this morning I could see their faces dropped a little bit and almost with disappointment that oh, we've got this girl teaching us today and oh, what's she going to teach us. Today guys we're going to be doing lots of technical stuff at the beginning but it's going to get harder as the day progresses. Now what if they're looking at you right now and they see you, you mean you're only two foot three tall, you know, you're a girl, you're a blonde, good looking, if they think, well I could knock her out, she's a bird. If you understand the fighter, um, fighting comes from the heart as well. And to be honest with you, I might be only small and blonde and blue-eyed, but I'd kick all their butts, so... Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> Remember, one of you could be going home, so if you don't train hard today, this could be the end of Fighting Hurts for you. She's going to be waiting for us to step in, and she's going to punish us, so I'm just going to be running, you know? Now, if you imagine the brains in the skull, so you want to give them that snap, so the, the brain smacking against the skull. Keep your eyes up. Speed and get new whips in. You're going to grab one arm on top of the other. It makes no difference to me. At the end of the day, you respect the fighter. It's not about whether they're male or female. And as she mentioned before, she's probably been in the ring more times than most of us here. And if it came to it, she'd probably hammer her. But I strung like bull. Chris Harmon shone for me today out of everyone because the passion when he's doing pads, you get, he's got that passion, he's got that will to fight and you can just see he's just enjoying it so much and he's putting everything into it. After what Dave said yesterday, I've got something to prove. So I'm just going to give it all today. I, my mindset today was to go for it in the kickboxing. <laughs> I was so drained in the training, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I was just not there. I don't know what it was, but I started doing the pads and, and punching the bag and this day. And for all of a sudden, it's just like all my energy just like was sapped out of me. I don't know if it's because, we, you know, it's been really, really difficult. I thought, come on, Chris, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Just got to remember, guys, that one of you has to go today. It's just, it's just a fucking day for the boxers, as far as I'm concerned. Again, don't worry, mate. they're shining because this is their don't cardio. Do that, mate. Just let them train your best, that's all you need to do. I mean, you said some people are moaning. Who is that? What I'm hearing, and I'm hearing the guys. It's Anton at the moment. I'm moaning, and, and, to, and me, I don't take none of that. It's the English people. A lot of times we moan, we groan about everything we do. Anton isn't even English. That's the South African. He's lived here too long, is that the problem? If any of the guys didn't learn anything today, there's no hope for them in the future in this sport. However, after yesterday's injury in the cage, Tommy's future may already be decided. Seeing Tommy today at the gym, knowing that it was, that's his area, I, was, I felt really bad that he was not, not going to be part of it. Yesterday wrestling with Marvin, and uh, as I've turned around, I've landed on top of him and just uh, knocked my shoulder out the back. Uh, they managed to get it back in. Uh, went to the hospital yesterday, and they just basically said to me, it's no go for me. I, you know, I've got to have lots of rest, because I've damaged muscles on my shoulder. Right, guys, one second. Just stop you one second. Sorry, just really quickly. Uh, Tommy, you know, he had an injury yesterday. He's actually going now, so, you know, a round of applause. I'm so gutted, disheartened, you know, and I felt like crying yesterday, to be honest, I was really emotional about it. Uh, Tommy left today through injury, which was gutting for him, and also, all of us lads as well because he's someone we really respected he was such a great guy but also um, he's got amazing talent for kicking and today would have been his day to shine I'm going to come back to the guys and I'm going to continue training and as soon as I'm better I'm, you know Dave's already promised me a fight so you know I'm just going to try and look forward and I'm going to bounce back from it Off we go Well at the end of the training we have to go into the ring and do some sparring with each other 
quite nerve-wracking, really. I mean, I'm, I feel that like I'm a born fighter, and I can step into any ring and have a go. But to stick to a certain discipline, especially a discipline which I'm not well-versed in, was difficult. Dice then, he's really, really sharp, you know what I mean? And um, he caught me with a couple, winded, winded me the, the one time with one of the kicks. And uh, I'm thinking, you know, 70%, if he's going to give 100, then I'm going to have to, you know, up my game, like, to, to beat somebody like him. Come on, Chris! What I learned today was Anton has got so much power, very dangerous, very strong kicker. I don't want to get in the way of those legs. Come on! We heard at the beginning, man. We heard at the beginning. 70%, man. Come on. I swear to God, Anton! On time! Come on, come on. Right. Yeah, you're right, yeah? Anton being brand new to this, he's, he's got absolutely no experience. Marvin took it upon himself to, to say, hey, that's not done in here. Um, let this be a lesson for you. Oh. We all went, yeah, yeah, it was about time. Somebody sort of put him in his place so he can calm down. It was a good lesson for him to learn. Marvin is so, so powerful, very powerful, and if he grabs hold of you, you're in trouble. I'm not pressurised by the fact someone's trying to hit me, I'm pressured by the fact that I've got people watching me, and if I don't perform, I'm going to obviously be sent home. Inside his legs. Inside, there you go, there you go. There you go. How many bananas have you eaten today? Mate? Today, three, but as a rule, I don't eat that many. Right then, now we've got you guys to mess each other up. It's time for somebody else to mess you up. these boys and these boys were getting stunned. I know for a fact they were getting stunned. I could feel, because I was in there with them, I could actually feel the kicks. She's controlling the centre of the ring. That's it. When you went in there with the boys, it was just a case of survival, really. You know what I mean? The boys were coming out, bang, 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 bang. At least with the girls. You know, you can concentrate a little bit more. Just boom, 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 boom. Did you catch me at all? Oh, he caught me with a pill. I have to threaten Anton. I'm gonna baseball bat you in the face if you hit her fucking hard, I'm telling you. That's it, lovely leg. 30 seconds. He has got no control whatsoever. Dyson said that he hasn't been kicked in the face as much ever. Never, never mind by a woman or a man than he did by Romana. Put this way, wouldn't it like her to be my missus? Where you been? You better get home. <laughs> you know you're getting home quick, mate. Oh, I think somebody's somebody's lost a toenail. I don't know who's that. Yeah. Is. Yeah. Yeah. is it yours? Do you want it back? No, some of these guys have got some really serious injuries. Some of them are hiding it well. Um, others are not coping with it, and they are voicing it, which is. Making it bad for themselves, really. Uh, it might be broken. It's swelled up like a balloon already. I tried to tape it up just so that I couldn't do any more damage. But I wouldn't go home for a broken fan. Well, these last four days have been brutal, but at the same time, being fun, and I've enjoyed them so much.